downstage corner. So one of the other challenges that we face here in the dance department and in theater in general is having space for all of our stuff, like our lovely Mr. Shivers here, um, who functions as a really great learning tool for our experiential anatomy classes and for our dance classes in general. The fact that the costumes live, have lived in my attic for 25 years, which is the only reason we have costumes, because the ones that lived in the back have already molded. That back space where we store everything actually isn't heated. It wasn't meant for that. It wasn't meant for that. Yeah, that's <laughs> a good way to dress say it. Just from the sheer amount of work that goes into turning a rehearsal space into a production space, into a theater space, into a dance space, into a workspace, into a classroom, into a, um, and it's pretty constant throughout the year. A lot of choreographers who need extra space to be able to rehearse their dances and really get all the movement perfect and ready for their, you know, showing. But having a new space. That would be so killer. Students are getting more transgressive and just everything is expanding. We need a bigger stage. <laughs> we need to be able to dance to an audience that's not necessarily so close. You want to keep it intimate, but you want to have you want to have depth. You want to have people have different perceptions from different angles, different lighting. To have a one spot where middle school, upper school, even lower school, and early school even, if they would have a dance class, then they could all go to one location where you could dance. Well, we want to thank you for being our audience. I'd just like to say to the early schoolers that this morning it's settling in, you know, when we talked about silence together and how you find that peace and that calm within yourself when all that is going on around you. And look at this, we walked down here on the very same day and we saw a dance that really was using a body's words and language um, to what we were talking about just this morning. I really imagine a space that can take what our kids do musically, whether it's singing or playing instruments, especially acoustic instruments where you can't just adjust the amp to help it sound better. I'm envisioning a space that will be really acoustically designed for music. We have people who have really found that this was a significant part of who they discovered themselves to be. And may we keep being able to find ways to let the arts in whatever form help kids discover who they are and who they can be. When I look at the staff at Friends School, the staff are here because they love teaching and they love being here and they're passionate about what they do. Any building that is created here will be filled with the same kind of intensity and intention and power and passion for learning, whether it's arts or physics or humanities. I mean, that's just the nature of this place, is that there is nothing done without all of those things present. CFS has done nothing but encourage my growth as an artist. And for other kids to have a similar experience to me, I think that having a new space where they can explore their, their talent and their potential in art is just absolutely necessary.